Hey everyone, this is Cat421 here, reporting for an in-depth review on this 2001 Nissan Pathfinder LE, color white. And as for my other videos there, I'm going to be giving a complete and in-depth review on this 2001 Nissan Pathfinder LE 3.5. We're going to start the engine and let it run for a while, and go to the performances and details on the interior and exterior. So, having all this information in mind, Here's the key. We're going to start it up and let it run for a while. And this one has a remote start there. I'll demonstrate that really fast. Let's push the start button right here. Just as simple as possible. Hold it again to shut it off. The color of the exterior is white, and the interior of the color is black and it's leather. And this has 86,000 miles. Starts up awesome. Easy steer. Get your automatic transmission with overdrive. Alright, we're going to put the headlights on. They're automatic. Fall lights are already on and the hazards. The driver and passenger's windows are automatic in both directions. And let's now give an in-depth review of the exterior. This will be my third Nissan Pathfinder. I still have the 2002 and 2003 yet to still upload. Nissan logo embedded on the grill. Standard wheel covers on Mastercraft tires, Goodyear, HTR. Fuel cap release is located right here. Place to put your fuel cap. Third brake light located inside the windshield. My dad was a big fan of Nissan Pathfinders. He, he used to own a 1998 Nissan Pathfinder before it got totaled about three and a half years ago.
All right, we're going to go ahead and pop the hood. This 2001 Nissan Pathfinder comes with a 3.5 liter V6 engine with an EPA estimated miles per gallon rating on premium unleaded gas is 15 city, 19 highway. You can always depend on your Nissan Pathfinders. Alright, we'll go ahead and see how it sounds and do an in-depth review of the interior. Like I said, it's full power driver's seat leather. Got your power windows, power locks, two person memory settings. Got your power mirrors lo located behind the steering wheel on the driver's side. Power adjustment, power recline. All right, let's go ahead and see how it sounds. Very nice, we'll go ahead and close her up. Digital clock here, hours and minutes, CD player, USB uh, uh, put to uh, plug your iPod in, as well as an uh, auxiliary jack, as, as, long as, as well as an AM FM radio. Got your four wheel drive control right here. Got your heated seat for the driver and passengers, as well as a power outlet. Got your digital compass located right here. Outside temperature. Power sunroof. So power sunroof automatic in both directions. Get your ashtray located right here. Get your cup holders. Center console. Inside center console as well, uh, as well as as an extra power outlet. Like I said, that that's a two-person memory setting. It's a very nice Pathfinder. Got your rear defrost located right here. Got your digital climate control, one-touch automatic. Get your temperature controls, get your different zones, get your fan speed, as well as a rear view mirror. Alright, we'll go ahead and shut out there and we'll check out the rest of the vehicle. Okay, airbags on the driver's side and passenger seat. And full driver and passenger seat. Got your cup holders located down there for the rear. As well as a coat hanger hook right there to, that holds coat hangers. Decent amount of trunk space.
got the wood grain accenting and some parts of the interior of the Pathfinder. Got your remote control right here for the CD player. The background noise is just the keys jiggling. I apologize for that. It's a very nice Nissan Pathfinder. I've always wanted to check out another old and wild generation of the Pathfinder. Well guys, this is Cat421. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the in-depth review on the 2001 Nissan Pathfinder. And stand by for the next review. Have a good day everybody.